We've shown you a lot of mind-blowing architecture before, but we've never shown you a city that can move. On this episode of Built a Billion, we're uncovering Saudi Arabia's new city that floats on the ocean. This new city is called Pangios, which at first glance may look like an artificial island, but in actuality is a futuristic turtle-shaped ship capable of traversing the ocean. The construction of this bizarre city is expected to cost $8 billion, but I'm sure this project will more than exceed that figure. Trust me, mega projects always exceed original projections. Construction is set to begin in 2033, with it expected to be completed in eight years. That's 2041. My brain can't even think that far ahead. But as well as these types of projects exceeding budgets, they also usually get delayed. And something tells me the never before done mega yacht floating city is highly likely to fall behind schedule. But how is this being funded? Surely there's a very secure funding source behind the scenes. Well, the project is depending on none other than the metaverse that has done nothing other than lose billions since its inception. What could go wrong? The city is being designed as a gigantic yacht and is being referred to as the Terra Yacht. It's the largest yacht ever designed by a long shot at 1800 feet long and 2000 feet wide. This would eclipse the current record holder, the Azam, with its 590 foot length. But don't worry Azam, size isn't everything, it's about the motion of the ocean. Now let's take a look at how the city will operate. The yacht will be divided into several areas, with the basement featuring 30,000 different cells. This provides the ship with a quote, unsinkable floating solution. We saw how that worked for the Titanic. Notably, the floating city will use all green energy with rooftop solar panels on the shell to halfway power the vessel by themselves. And get this, the yacht will summon the ocean's power as it moves, converting it to renewable energy and funneling into the enormous superconductor engine. The turtle will have a max speed of 5 knots. In the center of the city will be parks, shopping centers, beach clubs, grocery stores, movie theaters, and all other possible amenities. There will even be an airport that rests on top of the shell. Curved runways will run across the top of the yacht, complete with terminals that lead back into the vessel. There are also helicopter pads for the official helicopters bringing in supplies that the ship will need and for the personal use of the insanely rich people that will live here. When it comes to accommodations, the primary housing areas are split into three areas on the turtle. The body, the flippers, or the shell. In the body, there will be over 30,000 units capable of housing over 60,000 guests. I'm sure space will be way smaller than what it should be for what the money will cost. But the flippers are where the 19 exclusive vistas will be located, with 69 additional apartment spaces. Then there's the rooftop shell homes with their 72 individual terraces. They would either overlook the sea on one side or look down at the core of the city on the other. The huge yacht city will also provide spaces for you to keep your own private boat. Because who doesn't want to live in a boat and get off their boat to get in a smaller boat? But why a turtle? Well, the yacht draws inspiration from the ancient legend that the world itself actually sits on the back of a giant turtle. The turtle is also a universal symbol for peace and wisdom. So that's cool. The name also comes from the past as well. It's named after Pangaea, the giant supercontinent that all other continents split from about 175 million years ago. What about you? Would you stay on this giant turtle-shaped mega yacht? I, for one, would never. But let me know how you feel in the comments below. Click a video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting Built 